wanna know. Next on Wood Songs, bluegrass super picker Pat Flynn. That's so. I wanna know. I just gotta know. Where the bluebirds fly, they tell me how to say. And the U.S. Navy bluegrass band Country Current. It doesn't mean a thing in Missouri. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau. Providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music. Online at folk-book.com. And by Time Warner Cable. Providing cable, telephone, and internet service. Here on the Louisiana Hayride. His name is Hank Williams. The best in town. Here come the Grand Ole Opry. Bill Monroe and his bluegrass boy. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. Here's a beautiful song that started around 1860. During the American Civil War, there's a story about a, a wife that found her husband under a willow tree with a beautiful young blonde maiden. And she did what any self-respecting wife in folk music would do, she shot them both. Became very popular among the soldiers of the North and the soldiers of the South. Around the turn of the century, it became a very popular parlor song, and there it sat till about eight, about 1961. The young pop singer was making his first motion picture, and they decided to take the tune, change the title, and change the words. And Elvis Presley released it as "Love Me Tender." But this is the original song that was very popular among the North and the South of the Civil War. It's called Aura Lee. As a blackbird in the spring Beneath that willow tree Sat my love, I heard him sing to his aura lee my heart was broken sad and blue for my love to thee that your heart no longer true and you gave to aura lee He sang upon this morning star beneath that willow tree. And there I laid my true love down right next to Oralee.
So take my heart, take my ring, I give it all to thee. Keep them for eternity along with Orally. Orally, orally made of golden hair. Springtime came along with thee and my love so fair. Springtime came along with thee and my love so And welcome to the historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We are broadcasting worldwide, celebrating the wonderful world of grassroots music. And artists come from all over the world to be part of our broadcast, as they do on this particular show. And you don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. We have a master guitarist that has this tremendous legacy on our broadcast. We're going to get to him shortly. But first on our show, we think it's a tremendous privilege and honor that the the U.S. Navy Band has a crack, top-notch, beautiful, brilliant group of musicians. That's a bluegrass band. They call themselves Country Current. We're so glad that they're here. They're going to introduce themselves with a tune called Roven Gambler from the U.S. Navy. Country Current on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio. <laughs> Lay my money down, lay my money down. But I hadn't been in Frisco many more weeks than three. I met up with a pretty little gal. She fell in love with me. Yes, she did. Fell in love with me. Fell in love with me. Yeah. Well, she took to her parlor. Gambling man, loves gambling man. Well, daughter, dear daughter, why can't you treat me so? Leave dear old mother and with the gambler go. With the gambler go, with the gambler go. She gone. Well, mother, dear mother, why can't you understand? See me coming back, I'll be with the gambling man With the gambling man, with the gambling man But I left her there in Frisco and I wound up in Maine I met up with the gambling man, got in a poker game In a poker game, in a poker game, yeah. Gambler down, shot the gambler down. Well, now I'm in this jailhouse, got a number for my name. Warden said, if you lock the door, you gambled your last game, son. Gambled your last game, gambled your last game. U.S. Navy Bluegrass Band, Country Current. Let's say hello to uh, Senior Chief Musician Keith Arneson from Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, nice, here. To, nice to have you here. Thanks for having us. Banjo and the Navy. Let's talk about that for a minute. Well, there's only one. 
And I think there's a reason for that. I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're you're an instructor. You're a teacher of the I banjo. Teach, yes. This is mm -hmm. so. This is in your life. This is a passionate, absolutely passionate yeah, thing. Yeah. So, so I guess when you're on a U.S. Navy ship, it's not like the audience has any place to go. True. When you're. That's true. They're kind of a captive audience. <laughs> captive yeah. audience. Uh -huh. yeah. So let's talk about in serious terms, though, the the, okay. the formation of a bluegrass band in in the the U.S. Navy, which is yes. a, a wonderful reflection of American roots music. I guess you get to mm -hmm. introduce this music to audiences all over the world, Absolutely. which is uh, which is beautiful for the the music itself. <laughs> yes, thank you, and uh, we're we're very privileged to do that. The uh, the Navy band started a country and bluegrass group in 1973 mm -hmm. with Bill Emerson. And he was the first banjoist. He stayed for 20 years. And then uh, they picked me. And I've been there ever since, 21 <laughs> years ago. So 1993, I came in. So I'm the not only a senior chief, but a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say hi to musician first class Kenny Ray Horton. Hey, everybody. You. <clears throat> Lead singer from uh, Rocky Comfort, uh, Missouri, is it? That is correct. Okay, yes, so, so I guess uh, you were playing guitar when you were a little kid too, right? Yes, sir. Uh, my daddy started me out on banjo when I was six years old. I picked up the guitar because the girls seemed to like it better, and uh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> um, Doesn't say much for your banjo player, does no. it? No. <laughs> I put that down. I put that down, so... <laughs> So, so now here you are, and you decide to, uh, I guess you enlisted, yeah? And uh, you said, yes, I'm going to go into the Navy so I can uh, play bluegrass music. Well, I, I initially enlisted as an electronic technician in the Navy, found out about the band, switched over, was in the fleet bands uh, in Chicago, Hawaii, and Memphis. How does for, one just switch over? I mean, Well, it was, uh, there was a need for that position. I walked in, and I was not supposed to leave those musters, and... Uh, Basically, I walked in the front door, a commanding officer of all Navy bands worldwide was standing there, and he says, what can we do for you, son? And I said, Wait a minute, well, whoa, 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 there's a, what, a commander of what? He's the head of Navy bands worldwide. The, so, so, the, so the Navy has a musical entourage of different kinds, right? Yes, sir. There's, uh, there's several different bands stationed throughout the United States and all around the world. So and music is important. Yes, sir. M music is an important part of culture, of, of spreading, spreading culture and, and good feeling. Musicians were some of the first people hired so that you could draw attention to recruit folks. Uh, some of the first people hired in the Navy were musicians. And it's uh, still a staple to this day as far as recruiting and getting the word out for the Navy um, and publicizing different aspects that we want folks to know about and uh, share things with them what the Navy's doing. Well, music is a great communication tool, and, uh, and uh, the U.S. Navy Band is a, is a pristine group of excellent musicians. We're going to get back into music. This is a tune called Missouri from the U.S. Navy. It is Country Current on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Stories of Huckleberry Finn Riding round the Nose Hills I grew up in Where the bluebirds fly That taught me how to say And if you can't show me Then it doesn't mean a thing In Missouri That St. Louis Arch, the gateway to the west, where Albert E. Bromley rode out fly away. Down by Big Sugar Creek, where everybody goes to play in Missouri. So sweet those flowers in the dogwood trees. When I go home, you'll find me in Missouri. Kansas City barbecue, I could eat my fill. Hear those sounds out of Branson that go through the hills. Back to Silver Dollar City for a step back in time. All of this and so much more in that home state of mine of Missouri. 
so sweet those fires in the dogwood trees when i go home you'll find me in missouri U.S. Navy Bluegrass Band Country Current from their CD, This is Navy Country. It's so nice to have them here. If you want to hear this broadcast again, find out more about Country Current and their tour and uh, what makes up the band and such, visit our website, woodsongs.com. If you click on the archive page, this is show number 785. You get to see Country Current again, as well as our next artist. When we found out that the U.S. Navy Band was going to be on the show, we said, who can we get that would complement such a wonderful, amazing group of musicians like Country Current? And we couldn't find anybody, so we decided to... <laughs> So we decided to go ahead and get our friend who is, he was a member of Newgrass Revival. He's an award-winning musician. He has produced and played with eons and eons of brilliant musicians. He's going to do a tune to introduce himself called Mountain Move. Please welcome the amazing Pat Flynn, guitar on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio.
Pat Flynn, Mountain Move, and we have to give props to uh, Tim May on the uh, banjo. George Pendergrass doing vocals in the back with Heather Lawson. Amazing, beautiful job. So, Pat, welcome back to the show. You've been on here several times. Thank we, you, Michael. We, it's always a pleasure. We, uh, we got to kid around a lot and stuff, but you are, are one of the premier guitarists in uh, the world of uh, Roots Music. Uh, what is it, five years in a row? You were Guitarist of the Year. You were voted uh, huge awards for that. <laughs> I'm bragging on you a little bit. You got together with uh, John Cowan, Sam Bush, and Bela Fleck as part of Newgrass Revival, the ultimate super group. And so, I mean, there's just, uh, you, you've been just constantly uh, uh, changing your career and moving things around. Now you've got a new album out. Um, after the band, uh, I did a lot of years of studio work in Nashville, playing and making records. We call it working in the sequin mines. Uh, <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. You were, you were one of the premier uh, session guitarists in Nashville with, uh, with Mark Cass Stevens, Dave Pomeroy, Brent Mason, all those guys. Yeah. You were part of that league. Yeah. That's what I did uh, for a long time. And uh, in the last few years, I've been producing my own projects and for other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Writing songs. I mean, Garth Brooks had a, had a, had a big tune. I mean, sure, that's, yes. that's a cool thing for you, yeah. <clears throat> so as a songwriter, as a player, as a, as a producer, now you have this uh, new album that we're going to get to in the second half hour. But I mean, it's a, it's a lot of work to do this thing they call playing, you know? Yeah. It's well, it's a labor of love. I mean, I don't think any of us think of it as work, but yeah, there's some work to it. The payoff is the small amount of time you spend on stage. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you know, the, uh, Dan Fogelberg said it best, the, uh, the, the uh, audience is heavenly, but the traveling is hell. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, that, that's true for, for a lot of artists. But let's talk about your beginning. How did you start uh, playing the guitar? How old were you when you started? I, was gr I grew up in the Los Angeles area, and uh, the zeitgeist at that time Michael, that's a folk word. You don't like that word. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, it was an amazing time because things were changing culturally, dramatically. The Beatles came to America. America was in a deep, dark, grieving lethargy after President Kennedy was killed. And you remember that following uh, February when the Beatles arrived. Right. Ed Sullivan, big night. So like my entire generation, we were sitting on the couch while our dad was making funny comments about them. You know, The long hair and the yeah. British accent. I had to fire him. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that, that probably uh, sparked interest. But, you know, I was listening to a lot of the folk stuff that was coming out of Greenwich Village at the same time. That's why I was so excited to see Jack Elliott. Ramblin' Jack Elliott on our, you know. on our previous show, yeah. yeah. Well, in the second half hour, you're even going to do a tribute to Doc Watson and that whole style of music. But let's get back into your music. you got a great album called Revision. This is a tune off that album called I Want to Know. It's Pat Flynn on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Thank you. Cyberspace Rumors, wars, and the latest scores Live from the human race An ancient curse from bad to worse So many different shades See the colors changing See the colors fade When I was a small child I looked up in the sky Clear blue day, I could see my spirit fly. But looking out this window pane at an early morning gray, take me from the shadows back to that sunny day. It's all just accidents, but I don't think that's so. I want to know, I just got to know, somebody let me in on this just once before 
some space restless nights foolish fights I'm falling like a rock the hours getting so late listen to the clock Thank you. Multi-award winning guitar master Pat Flynn on our show. And the official bluegrass band of the U.S. Navy Country Current is here. We're going to be back. Wait till you meet our 14-year-old girl. That's this week's Wood Songs Kids. More music, more conversation. We'll be back right after this. Friends, this is your old buddy Ralph Stanley, and I'd like to tell you that you're listening to Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And there's a friend, Dr. Ralph. Welcome, everybody. We are broadcasting worldwide from our hometown here in Lexington, Kentucky, the beautiful Lyric Theater as we present our show as we do. And this is our Wood Songs Kids segment of the show, something that I personally look forward to every single week. There are so many amazing young kids out there that play this organic front porch roots music, folk music, blues, bluegrass, and everything. And we found ourselves a young 14-year-old girl in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we invited her to be this week's Wood Songs kid let's say hi to Willow Osborne (laughs) 
So Willow, you are a uh, a banjo extraordinaire, and you're you're just just 14 years old, <laughs> right? So so are you? Do you go to public school or are you homeschooled? I'm homeschooled. Homes- a lot of uh, a lot of good musician kids are homeschooled. Why do you think that works out better? There's more time to play. There's more time to play. <laughs> I <That's> mean. <laughs> now, you had a wonderful teacher, Gary Biscuit Davis, who was on our, yes, our broadcast. And you're doing a lot of, uh, a lot of shows out there in uh, Pigeon Forge, right? Yes, sir. So, so you, you get to play a lot. Is that, is that still fun for you? I mean, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. When did you start playing the banjo? I started playing whenever I was four years old. Four years old. Now, a four-year-old kid, the banjo's <laughs> twice as big as you are. Yeah. <laughs> so why? Um, well. What was it about the banjo? Well, I always loved music, and um, whenever I was about three and a half, my mom took me to see a show in Pigeon Forge. We were on vacation, and I saw a banjo player there, a Dixie Stampede, and his name was Gary Biscuit Davis. Mm-hmm. And, and he I, became your teacher. Yeah. I saw him play, and I turned around to my mom, and I said, Mom, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I, I'm pretty sure she got really sad. <laughs> a banjo player, oh no. <laughs> but um, for my fourth birthday, she was going to buy me a toy banjo. And so she went around to all these music shops, and banjos are kind of unique. And she couldn't find a toy banjo, and she was at her last stop. She'd about given up. And um, she was looking around, and she saw this man. He said, don't buy a toy, buy the real thing, I'll teach her. Yeah. And it was Gary Biscuit Davis. And so, he's been teaching so you got a real since. banjo and a real teacher, and he just he met you, and he goes, oh, my goodness, she's only four. <laughs> yeah. Right? So now, here's, here's what I want you to do, uh, Willow. I want you to go ahead now, prepare yourself. You're going to treat us to a beautiful banjo piece called Dear Old Dixie. You ready to do it? Willow sure Osborne, try. 14 years old, from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Fourteen years old from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Willow Osborne. If you have a kid that you think deserves to be on the Woodsong stage, we want to show them off. Woodsong's kids, nobody wins anything, nobody comes in second, nobody's judged. We're just incredibly proud of young musicians like Willow Osborne. Didn't she do a great job? All you got to do... 
is send me an email, michael at woodsongs.com. We would love to check out the kid that you have in mind. They've got a CD called This Is Navy Country. They're going to do a tune called Hope It Grows. It is the U.S. Navy bluegrass band Country Current on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Sundown on an old dirt farm. There ain't one thing that he can't do. He's got it all to gain, got it all to lose. Keeps his family with every seed he gets to grow. And he knows it's a gamble every year. But if you ask him what he does to calm his fears. I hope it grows, I hope it grows You put your head down, pray and work hard and hope it grows I hope it grows, man, I hope it grows You put your head down, pray and work hard and hope it grows In the barn, doing all he can to keep the family farm. Works hard every day in that Missouri sun. Well, he plows his fields with one good mule and lives his life by the golden rule. Talk to him by his daddy's hand and the word of God. Now he knows it's a gamble every year. But if you ask him what he does to calm his fears I hope it grows, I hope it grows You put your head down, pray and work hard and hope it grows I hope it grows, man, I hope it grows You put your head down, pray and work hard and hope it grows down, pray and work hard and hope it grows. I hope it grows, oh man, I hope it grows. Put your head down, pray and work hard and hope it grows. Well, he's up every morning at the crack of dawn all day in the clothes that he puts on. Sun up to sundown. On an older farm. <laughs> Country current, the Official bluegrass band of the U.S. Navy, uh, lead vocals there by Kenny Ray Horton, musician first class, senior chief musician Keith Arneson on the banjo, musician first class Joe Friedman on acoustic guitar, musician first class Daniel Stewart back there on the bass, rocking the bottom line. And let's say hi to chief musician Patrick White, hi. playing mandolin and fiddle. So how long have you been part of Country Current? I, yeah. Uh... 
<laughs> I've been in the unit since uh, I joined in 1994, so I've been here about 20 years now. 20 years. And where's home originally for you? Uh, Williamsport, Maryland. Right. And and you've performed on the Grand Ole Opry. You've you've done a lot of stuff yes. apart from the Navy. Yes. Yes. Or is that part of the Navy? P- part of the Navy. Part of my duties within, within the past 20 years. Right. So you 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 enlist in the Navy and you go, yeah, I, I'm going to play mandolin and fiddle in the Navy. Well, that is not the first thought you had, surely. Well, it, it actually was. I auditioned really? as a civilian for the band. There was a position that opened up for a fiddle player. How did you even hear about it? Um, I was doing some side work with Bill Emerson, and he had known about a position opening up within the band. He told and, you about it. And he told me, and then let the band know about me, and they had uh, called and asked me to come and audition. Okay. And so now traveling around uh, uh, as a U.S. Navy bluegrass band. I mean, a lot of folks don't know that Country Current is there. It's part of the reason that we wanted you on the show so bad, because we we think it's really neat, don't you, that the U.S. Navy has a bluegrass band. Thank you. (laughs) They're the U.S. Navy bluegrass band. This is a tune called Old Ironsides on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. So you play at Old Ironsides, the U.S. Navy bluegrass band Country Current. If you want to hear this show again, just visit our website, woodsongs.com. Click on the archive page. This is show number 785. Our next artist has a brand new album called Renew. This is his tribute to Doc Watson. It's a guitar medley called Little Rock Getaway and I Don't Love Nobody. It is Pat Flynn on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio.
pilgrim and a stranger traveling through this world's land. I got a home in that yonder city, good Lord, and it's not God made my hand. I went down to the river of Jordan just to bathe my weary soul. I'm determined to go and see him, good Lord, over on that other shore. I am a pilgrim and a stranger travel through that western land. Got a home in very under city, good Lord, and it's not Sister and brother who have gone or gone on before. I'm determined to go and be with them, good Lord, over on that other shore. I am a pilgrim and a stranger traveling through that western land. Got a home in that yonder city, good Lord, it is not, not made by hand. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Willow. George Pendergrass, Heather Lawson, and my friend Tim May. Wasn't it great having Pat Flynn on the broadcast, master guitar player, and the U.S. Navy Bluegrass Band, Country Current. Pat Flynn said what this show is about. It's about friends and friendship. You know, he gets to play for decades all over the world with so many wonderful artists and stuff, and he makes friends with them. Willow Osborne is a young 14-year-old, brilliant banjo player who's now a friend of everybody on this show. And isn't it wonderful to see the U.S. Navy putting together a bluegrass band, the country current, to make friends all over the world with this music? 
At its core, that is what organic roots music is all about. It's about families and front porches and communities. It's about making friends. I think Bill Monroe said it best. He said, bluegrass has brought more people together and made more friends than any other kind of music in the world. We believe that and we're glad that you're part of our family of friends. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I'm a log cabin dweller. We'll see you next week on the Woods Song. Good night. You've been listening to Woodsong's broadcast number 785. Michael's opening song was R. Lee from the Looking Glass CD featuring Melissa Deaton, Jonathan on vocals, and special guest Pat Flynn on guitar. Thank you for tuning in. There are so many talented artists that appear on our stage. It's very hard sometimes to pick the ones that appear on our TV broadcast. So what we're going to do is leave you with a performance from our huge online archive of past shows. We'll see you next time on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Yep. This road of life, you have harbored pain and strife, standing at the gates of hell. Oh, but when you hear it ring, it will end all suffering. It's God's great divine bell. Here we go. Hear it ring. Hear it ring. All the joy that it brings. How loud must be the sound to turn this world around to God's great Wash your hands of sin in the blood of the Lamb. But you drank from Satan's well. But when you hear it told, heaven and earth are gonna roll to God's great divine bell. Hear it ring, hear it ring, all the joy that it brings. How loud must be the sound to turn this town around to God's great Captioning provided by the Deering Banjo Company. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky, online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music. Online at folk-book.com. And by Time Warner Cable, providing cable, telephone, and internet service. <laughs>